¡Tada! Hello guys and gals and welcome back to the D4A channel. Today we are going to work on our engine bay and today I want to make my engine bay look as nice as my engine that I will be putting in which is of course my bike carb converted 4AG engine. Now the engine is out of the car right now so it's a great opportunity to you know spruce up the engine bay and match the look of the engine. I also want to tell you that, give me a second, yeah, well that's really tricky. I'm actually working on the engine, so let me give you a tiny little teaser. So there she is. So teaser, 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 and that's enough for you. So there's progress being made on the engine, but today it's time for the engine bay. Now, what I want to do today to the engine bay actually is, number one, I want to clean, clean it up. I want to put some primer on it and then I want to put some sort of paint or something along those lines in the engine bay. But before I do any of that, there's two things that I'll be removing from the engine bay that I won't be needing anymore. So the two things that I won't be needing anymore are right here and there the ignition coil and this resistor box right here. So let me just remove them and then I'll say a few words about them. So here we have these two majestic yet no longer relevant items. Number one is the resistor box. You need this in the 4AG in case you have low impedance injectors. I won't have any sort of injectors because I'll be, I'll be going with bike carbs. So goodbye to the resistor box. Number two is the ignition coil. As you probably know, what this thing does is it transforms the low voltage current from your battery to the high voltage needed to produce, you know, the spark in the spark plug. Now, I won't be needing this thing anymore because my second generation Notice Pro standalone ignition controller has actually arrived and it will make this guy pretty much obsolete. Of course, I'll be doing a unboxing and review video very soon of the Notice Pro, so stay tuned for that as well. So that's goodbye to these two things. I have to say I'm pretty happy. It's going to make the engine, engine bay a lot you know, cleaner and nicer. So the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is that I'm going to, of course, mask the areas outside the engine bay that I do not want to paint. Next I'm going to get my angle grinder with a wire brush attachment and I'm going to clean up a lot of the old paint and debris and grime and disgusting stuff from the engine bay. Here's a look at the genius that is the previous owner of this car who was too stupid and or lazy to simply pull the sparking brake cable to these two nice brackets that were obviously made for that purpose. So he or she decided to simply put a cable tie here instead of doing what was meant to be done. So now it's a great opportunity to correct this horror. After cleaning and degreasing everything real nice, it was time to apply the primer. Now once the primer has dried, I decided to finish off by using the same product that I have used in my wheel well restoration, and that's this stone chip protection paint. Now, if you want to see the wheel well restoration video, just click on the suggested video in the upper right corner. 
So the reason why I have decided to use the stone chip protection paint is number one that it's really forgiving to a surface that isn't prepped perfectly. You have probably noticed that I'm not working to a really high standard of restoration here. Because in reality I should have probably removed all of these wires and the fuse box and everything else from the engine bay, you know, and done things more, you know, carefully. Removing the parts would have given me better access for better degreasing, better cleaning, you know, and so on and so forth. But all of that would take a lot of time and what I'm doing here is I'm actually trying to, number one, remove rust, number two, prevent future rust, and number three, getting the engine looking better it actually the engine bay sorry looking better than it did before and i think this stone chip protection paint is actually going to achieve that because i really like the way it looks because once it dries it has this really cool matte black finish that i think is going to make the engine bay look pretty nice There you have it guys, one freshly restored engine bay ready to receive one cool engine. Now I know this wasn't a proper restoration, but I think it was definitely a easy, quick and pretty cheap way to get the engine bay looking a lot better than it did before. Uh, now I don't know about you, but I actually like the way the engine bay looks now. I even like it a lot more like this than it was before in the red color. I think it will now stand out even more and it will go really nice with what I have actually planned for the engine. Also, I would really like to hear what you think about this engine bay, if the black thing was a stupid idea or maybe I should have, you know, kept it stock, went red and whatnot. The comment section is right down there. As always, don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you on the D4A channel.